Yes, yes, Master and Crew, back once again with another video. And now I'm about to try something really cool. I've just got this Amiga A1200 uh, Magnum RAM, and it takes a uh, DIM, I believe, DIM RAM in the back here, as you can see. Um, and this is a, actually an accelerator stroke uh, fast RAM card for the Amiga. Now, I've literally replaced the BIOS battery or, or the whatever clock battery it is, and I managed to buy this off of eBay. This is an FPU 40 megahertz processor. So I'm about to put this in my Amiga to see if it speeds it up. The idea behind this is that you get more memory in your Amiga and you make it much faster. And I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a go. Another heads up, look what I got from Mr. Equinox. He gave me a Mackie 1604 mixer so I can able to string up some of my Akai's and my mics etc all into here uh, This weekend I'm gonna get a rack as well so I can rack up everything try and make this place a little bit neater Mrs. is gonna help me with that. So we're gonna get stuck in and try and see what we can do Also, look at this gem now. This is a 950 that you had lying about that you sorted me out with cheers Marlon much appreciated um, Got a bit of a playback button missing here. Excuse me. Got a bit of a playback button missing here, but that's nothing. Um, and apparently it's a little bit temperamental, but we're going to try and get this fixed up. And hopefully I uh, won't have to sort of splash out on mad money on a, on a, on a sort of a brand new Akai. I'm going to be looking to, once I know this is working, going to be looking for uh, a little bit of an upgrade on it. Um, and try and fit all the memory. Because I do remember back in the day... Uh, that I actually had uh, my Akai S950 fully upgraded. So my guess is uh, certain tunes are not going to load fully unless I get uh, the two gig, gig, no such thing on Akai, two megabyte upgrade. Also recently, uh, something I've done that's just like done my nut in is, um, so I've been trying to experiment with my Amiga, trying to get an upgrade for it uh, because I've tried to upload, tried to load a few of my old songs and they wouldn't load, it kept on saying out of memory error. So I figured, okay, uh, perhaps I had more memory back in the day and uh, so I need more memory. So I opened up the trap door and I found this gadget in there. And this is some sort of memory upgrade for the old Amiga. Now, let's get you a little bit more sort of close to the light on that so you can see it. Now, it was working flawlessly with this uh, up until the point of just the fact that s the odd thing wouldn't load. Now, uh, at this point, I've only just started to get into looking at the uh, system information on the Commodore Amiga and trying to understand actually how much memory it, it has got in it. It does have a like a app on board or app or program on board that allows you to have a look at the system info and the system info basically will tell you how much memory you've got in your Amiga how much uh, FPU I believe it is and FPU is like a extension CPU you can actually get extension CPUs that you can put in your Amiga that will accelerate them and make them move faster now as far as I know uh, this doesn't actually have an FPU but I can see here maybe you can put some sort of processor on it i don't know i'm not an expert on this kind of thing anyone out there know what that is comment down below anyway i had this other amiga upgrade card and it had this chip on it which is i don't know one megabyte i don't know two megabyte and then i went online and i bought apparently an eight megabyte chip and put it in there but to be fair my, my amiga has been crashing a lot and i think uh, it's actually the jumper settings on there that needs sorting out. So I'm going to show you the card on the screen. So guys, the, guys, the card in question is called uh, Magnum A1200 Magnum RAM 8. And as you can see, this one definitely has space for a processor of some kind. I guess this is called the FPU. And the FPU, again, like I said, it accelerates it. It's also got an onboard clock. But there are some jumper settings on there. And I'm not sure what they do, but I'm going to look into it and see if I could tweak around with it and see if I can make it more stable. Because I'm pretty sure that this card is probably better than the other one that I've got. But obviously if it keeps on crashing, there's not a lot I can do. And that's the SIM chip or DIM chip or whatever that I put in there. As you can see, it's got more chips than the previous one. Uh, so I think maybe the Amiga can only take so much. But, um, you know, I am tempted to get an accelerator for my Amiga. Comment down below if you've had any experience with this.